It is my privilege and joy to wish you all the peace and graces of the Easter season, which is upon us. The resurrection of Jesus is the very foundation of all we believe. And I pray that it will lift your hearts and renew hope in 2015 and beyond. As we celebrate the wonderful moment of Easter, may I invite you in your daily lives to make more practical and realistic the baptismal promises we renew at Easter. May we commit ourselves to accept again in a conscious way our personal call from God which came to each of us at baptism. Just as we cannot forget Good Friday preceding Easter, so also we are aware that the challenges and sorrows of our lives are always with us. It is through our friendship with Jesus that we find strength to move through the dying and rising experiences of life never alone, always with him. As disciples of Jesus, we're all caught up in the mission of Jesus, a mission to a world hungering for good news. Jesus needs each one of us. The question is, how do we in 2015 get across the story of Jesus and his message. It is clear that we have to meet people where they are, not where we think they should be. We know that a number of people are not with us in our churches. So where are they? They are all around us, with us at work and school, in the city places, in the shopping centres, employment agencies, waiting for the food van, knocking on our hostel doors. They are the neighbours in the unit beside us or over the side fence. Like other Christians, as Catholics, we witness to hope, which is the message of Easter. We share Jesus' belief that life is worth living, that everyone has a unique dignity and a God-given right to freedom and respect. We share Jesus' belief that suffering, illness and death leads eventually to new life through the dying and rising experience that come our way. While we struggle to help make this world respond to God's expectations for it in justice and peace, and while we struggle to banish oppression, hunger, disease and war from the face of the earth, we must always nourish through prayer and service of others the hope we have through the risen Christ. This is hope in the true and real promise of the gospel, the possession of everlasting life in joy and peace with God. Let us ask the Lord to make us peacemakers in our homes and in our society. What the world needs in particular today is the credible witness of people enlightened in mind and heart by the word of the Lord and capable of opening the hearts and minds of many to the desire for God and for true life, life without end. The challenge of Easter is to decide whether we want to live in the risen Christ or not. The life and joy and peace of Easter are ours for the asking. Let us ask God today to move us to accept the Easter message into our hearts. Let us ask him to make us Easter people, people who are God-centred, 
people who follow Jesus, people who serve the church. This Easter, let us be filled with real hope, the hope that Jesus' resurrection brings, the hope that we can witness to by the way we reach out to all. We are the children of God. Today, this victory is ours if we embrace with faith the Easter event. Jesus risen from the dead for you and for me. In the risen Jesus, God comes into our lives. He shapes our destiny. He cares for us, loves us, heals us, strengthens us, walks with us on our pilgrim way. We need this celebration now more than ever because we need to concentrate on the values, the faith and the truth that Easter reveals to us. We need to know them, be convinced of them and live by them. We should not allow the trials and challenges of this life to destroy our hope in the life guaranteed to us by the Easter good news. Let us ask the risen Lord to make us true Christians who live the gospel, who love the poor and care for the needy. Let us be people whose primary purpose is to build up the kingdom of God so that the true meaning of Easter will be realised in the lives of humankind. On this Easter Sunday, in the readings of Easter, the risen Lord says to each of us, Peace be with you. May we know and cherish that peace and love in every day of our lives. May Easter be a family time to recreate the love which enriches the bonds of family life and friendship. With our risen Christ, let us be Easter people. Alleluia.